The Story of the Flood Once upon a time, there was a man named Noah who loved God dearly. Sadly, others didn't share his love. One day, God delivered a surprising message. I will save only you and your family from the world's wickedness. God then spoke to Noah, telling him about a big flood. Build a huge wooden ark, God instructed, for your family and many animals. Noah followed every detail God gave him for building it. Despite facing bullies, Noah continued to build the ark and focused on his task. Still, he loved the people and tried to warn them about the coming flood. They only mocked him and called him silly. After years of hard work, Noah completed the ark as God instructed. Though it had never rained, he trusted God's words that it would. Noah filled the ark with supplies, ready for God's rain and flood. Once the ark was prepared and stocked with food, God sent animals of all kinds, big and small, from every corner of the world. It brimmed with creatures flying and walking. A diverse gathering was aboard. When all was set, God said to Noah, enter the ark with your family. So Noah, his wife, and his three sons with their wives went inside the massive vessel, and God shut the enormous door. Suddenly, a tremendous rain poured down, unlike anything ever seen before or after. It lasted for 40 days, drenching towns and villages, washing away all the evil in the world. The rain continued until everything was covered in water. Only when the ark remained alone did the rain finally stop. It housed the only life left on earth that could breathe air. For five months, the ark floated on top of the water. Then, God sent a strong wind to dry up the water. The ark landed high on a mountaintop after some time, but Noah and the animals stayed inside for another 40 days until it was safe to leave. Noah sent a dove out to find signs of life. After a few days, it returned with an olive branch, but then it didn't come back, showing that it was safe. So Noah, his family, and the animals finally left the ark. Noah was so grateful since God saved his family that he built an altar and worshiped God. God then promised Noah that he would never send a flood again, and that's when God created the rainbow as proof and a sign for all the world. If you enjoyed watching this, please like, share, and subscribe so that others may benefit as well. Thank you, and God bless.